Here's how to fix call failed or not making calls on Android. Now, if you keep trying to make a call and it keeps ringing and dropping or it doesn't ring at all, it just fails, I'll show you how to fix it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first option that we'll check is to see what your signal strength is. So to do that, we're going to swipe up here and we'll get into your settings. So tap on the gear icon at the bottom left. And from here, I'm just going to scroll down to the very bottom and I'm going to find about phone and tap on that. From about phone, we just can scroll down and you can see the very first option here under this information about SIM is status information. Tap on that. And now once you're in here, you can see at the very top, we'll choose SIM card status and tap on that. Now, once you're in here, you're looking for the signal strength. Midway down here, you can see there is the signal strength. And mine is one, negative 111, 112 dBm. You might be wondering what that is. And essentially, you can look at this graph to get an idea of what your current signal strength is. Because essentially, if you keep dropping calls, maybe someone calls you, but it drops, it could be an issue with your signal. You can see mine is negative 111, so even lower than the unlikely connection. So I have a really bad connection where I currently am. You're going to look and hopefully you're in the negative 30 to like negative 70 range. That is a good signal. Now, if you find that you don't have a very good signal where you are, an easy way to reset it is to swipe down from the top right. And then you can toggle on airplane mode. This will disconnect from your Wi-Fi as well as your cell signal and tower, and then just turn it off to reconnect. Now, after we've done that, say you still have a good signal, but it's still dropping those calls. The next thing that we'll do is we'll swipe up and get back into your settings. And let's just go back here to the very beginning of your settings. From here, we're going to scroll down until we find the option for general management and tap on that. From general management, let's scroll down and we'll choose the reset option and tap on that. From reset, all we need to do is scroll down and you can see reset mobile network settings, including your settings associated connecting your phone, Android phone, with your cell tower nearby. So let's tap on that and tap on reset settings. You'll enter in your pin here and hit continue. And now it says it will bring all of those settings back to the factory default. Keep in mind, you might need to go through the process of re-adding your SIM or your eSIM if it goes through this process. You might not need to, but it depends on your specific carrier. Another option that you have, and a lot of times causes issues, is the phone app itself. So we can always reset that back to factory default. So let's go back to the very beginning here and tap on apps. And now we'll just find the phone option. So scroll down until you find phone on this list. So well, maybe I pass it, L-M-N-O-P. There it is. And now first we'll scroll down and get to storage here. Now there will be two different buttons at the very bottom. One is to clear the cache. So we'll tap on that and clear the cache. But I would also recommend hitting clear data and delete all the data. This will keep the phone app, but delete all of the previous data and kind of bring it back to factory default. After you've done that, you should be able to hop back into the phone app and dial anyone's number and it should go through. If you're still having issues with it, then potentially you're just in a spot with really bad signal. If you're inside, you might want to try going outside or you might just want to try walking around to see if that signal strength, the one that I showed you in the settings at the very beginning of this video, gets any better. You want to again be negative 35 to about negative 70. Hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.